The compact pickup truck market is heating up, and Toyota's throwing fuel on the fire with its latest offering, the all-new Stout. This nimble contender is set to challenge the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz with its impressive blend of efficiency, versatility, and Toyota's renowned reliability. In this video, we'll explore seven compelling reasons why the Stout deserves your attention. From its advanced hybrid powertrain to its competitive pricing, we'll break down how Toyota aims to redefine the small truck segment. Whether you're a long-time pickup fan or considering your first truck purchase, you won't want to miss these insights into the Stout's game-changing features. Let's dive into what makes this compact Toyota a formidable new player in the market. Reason number seven, robust and proficient hybrid powertrain. Considering the expected size, it's not surprising that many sources suggest the new pickup won't be based on the G platform and the RAV4, as initially anticipated. Instead, the Japanese manufacturer might opt for something smaller like the GAC architecture, which underpins models such as the Corolla and Corolla Cross. What's particularly noteworthy is that this platform comes with a slightly different hybrid powertrain compared to what we're used to seeing in Toyota's models in the US market. Instead of a 2.5-litre engine, this system would be based on a 2.0-litre inline-four. But even with this engine, the maximum output would be nearly 200 horsepower, which is still more than what the Maverick offers. At the same time, this powertrain would ensure class-leading fuel economy, as the system has already proven itself to be extremely efficient. In the case of the Corolla Cross, it returns 45 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway. So it's not surprising that some estimates suggest well over 40 miles per gallon combined. But even if Toyota decides to go with a larger engine like the RAV4, the average fuel economy would be on par with the Maverick. At the same time, this would be a far more capable pickup as the maximum output could easily reach 250 horsepower. Reason number six. Characterized by reduced size and enhanced maneuverability in contrast to the Maverick, Toyota has been missing a small pickup since the Tacoma grew to its current midsize size and now is the perfect time to bring back something smaller. The Maverick is very popular, but even that pickup is quite big compared to compact pickups of the past. It has a wheelbase of over 120 inches, which is similar to full-size SUVs, and that's one reason why some potential buyers are still hesitant to get it. The Stout, on the other hand, shouldn't be that large. Instead, we expect it to be much closer to its spiritual predecessor, which means a wheelbase between 105 and 110 inches. With such dimensions, the new pickup would still have enough space for two rows of seats and a decent-sized cargo bed, but it would offer better maneuverability and be much easier to drive than the competition. Reason number five, advanced safety technology is a highlight. Toyota is known for various qualities, and the inclusion of numerous advanced safety systems is certainly one of them. Hence, the Stout shouldn't be an exception. It should come fully loaded with active driver assist features, even in the most basic variants. But what's also worth mentioning is that the Japanese car maker has just released the latest version of its famous Safety Sense suite. And now the 3.0 version is active with various enhancements and novelties. Among other innovations, we should mention a new set of radars and sensors, which ensure vehicle detection at a longer range, which improves the capabilities of pre-collision systems and lane keep assist. Moreover, adaptive cruise control now comes with a broader range of settings, so drivers now have more possibilities when it comes to adjusting the distance, applying brakes, and similar actions. Automatic high beams have also been improved, and the new system also recognizes more traffic signs than before. Finally, there's a new system called Proactive Driving Assist, which offers braking and steering assist to help drivers in tricky situations, whether it's about navigating curves, proceeding with bicycles and pedestrians, and more. Most of these systems would be part of the standard equipment, which isn't the case with the competition at the moment. Reason number four? It's also feasible to have a turbo four engine. Naturally, there's anticipation for the Stout to come equipped with a highly efficient hybrid powertrain. We do not doubt that most buyers would opt for this powertrain option, but that doesn't mean there won't be a gas-only version on offer as well. For instance, base models could come with the familiar 2.5 liter inline four with 203 horsepower, but we're more interested in something peppier, namely, Toyota could offer something to match the Maverick and Santa Cruz versions with turbo four engines. 
Fortunately, Toyota has a suitable engine to respond to these peppy units in the form of a relatively new 2.4-liter Turbo 4, which already powers a variety of Toyota models, including the Highlander and Tacoma. In this case, we would presumably see a less powerful variant of the engine with 265 horsepower and 310 pound-foot of torque, which seems like plenty of power and especially torque to ensure competitive performance for the class. Reason number three. It boasts an all-wheel drive hybrid system. If there's one aspect to criticize about the Ford Maverick, it would be its drivetrain. The hybrid version of Ford's pickup may be super efficient, but it isn't available with all-wheel drive, which significantly limits its towing capacity and off-road performance. Toyota, on the other hand, will most certainly offer an all-wheel drive hybrid version of this pickup, as it does with most other hybrid models in the lineup. Of course, we're talking about the company's intelligent all-wheel drive system designed specifically for hybrids. That's an on-demand all-wheel drive system that doesn't have mechanical components like a differential, but rather uses an additional electric motor to power the rear wheels. What this means in practice is that the new Stout could come in an off-road version, even with a hybrid powertrain, just like the RAV4 with its woodland trim. Naturally, an off-road focused Stout would come with a few more upgrades, including all-terrain tires, roof racks, and suspension enhancements, while various visual enhancements also seem like a certainty. Still, we presume that the toughest off-road version would remain reserved for gas-only models. We may even see something with a TRD Pro badge, but even if we don't see a dedicated off-road hybrid pickup, an all-wheel drive drivetrain would provide great benefits in terms of traction, safety, and overall performance. Reason number two, structured with a single cab layout options. One aspect that compact unibody pickups currently lack is a regular cab style. So far, both Ford and Hyundai have only offered crew cab layouts, as most buyers view these compact pickups as versatile family vehicles. However, we're confident that many potential buyers would love to see a compact pickup with just a single row of seats and a slightly longer cargo bed. They anticipate Toyota to offer such a version of the Stout, which would be a fantastic choice for anyone seeking a small commercial vehicle. The original Stout was offered with such a design, so we see no reason why this wouldn't be the case with the new model. After all, let's not forget that Tacoma is one of the few models still offering a two-door cab layout in the midsize segment, so Toyota could easily apply the same principle in the compact pickup segment. Reason number one, competitive pricing. The Stout has the potential to outshine the Maverick in its domain because, frankly speaking, Ford's pickup is no longer as budget-friendly as it once was. With the recent price increase for the 2024 model year, the hybrid version now starts at $26,000, which is something Toyota can easily match or even undercut. In the event Toyota decides to base the new pickup on the Corolla Cross, this would be quite achievable, considering that the small crossover starts at around $29,000. The Corolla Cross is built on Toyota's TNGAC platform, which is designed for small cars and crossovers, making it a suitable foundation for a compact pickup truck. We presume that the pickup iteration would bring savings in various aspects, including interior design and reduced feature content compared to the crossover, so the MSRP can easily go down by a couple of thousand. But that's not all. Let's not forget the expected single cab version. If Toyota decides to launch such a pickup, the price would be even lower. These body styles are always cheaper than double cab layouts because they have less interior space and fewer amenities. A single cab configuration could potentially start below $25,000, making it an incredibly affordable option for budget-conscious buyers looking for a small, no-frills pickup. Furthermore, Toyota's reputation for reliability and strong resale value could give the Stout an advantage over the Maverick in the long run. While Ford has made improvements in recent years, Toyota still ranks among the top brands for dependability and low ownership costs. In all, the all-new Toyota Stout compact pickup truck looks very promising. With its smaller size, efficient hybrid powertrain option, available single cab layout, potential turbo engine, advanced safety tech, expected reliability, and affordable pricing, the Stout seems poised to be a serious competitor to the Maverick and Santa Cruz in the compact truck segment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.